Well, to this part of the journey where I get uh, a little bit excited because I know that somewhere over there lies Southern S Golf Course and uh, we're getting ever closer. The designer of Southern Ice Golf Club was uh, Mackenzie Ross, probably more famous for uh, reconstructing Turnberry Golf Course after the war. The heather is very, very tough to come out of. If you try and cut corners, it will gobble you up. We uh, have a, a course that does suit everybody. It's flat, it's very scenic. If you're not playing well, lift your head and have a look around about. On a good day, you'll see the Isle of Man. You look over towards the Cumbria course, you see all the hills. The, the hardest part of the golf course, which I do feel it's hard, is when you turn the corner at the 12th. The 12th is the, the, the signature hole of Southern S. Some fantastic views, nice hole to play. You turn the corner at the 13th, and for there on, really, really hard. Scottish uh, amateur coming here in uh, two or three weeks' time, and it'll be a test for them. If you go off to the left or go off to the right, you can be punished severely. But really, keep it where the man cuts the grass and you'll thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy Southern S Golf Club. I spoke with Donald the day previous to our tea time and as you can see, we awoke to slightly better weather. Ah, I come up short in two, it was right at the flag that second shot. Not sure it's very early morning, I don't know how this will run across the uh, little bit of dew on the fringe. Roll out, roll out. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Happy with that. Par start, uh, I've got to say we're so lucky to be out here this morning. It is absolute idyllic in terms of the conditions. So uh, I believe this is a real tough place to play some golf, but we've got it extremely easy in terms of the conditions. It is deathly still. All you can hear, honestly, is, uh, I don't want to get uh, too poetic about this, but the birds that you can hear singing here this morning, it's, uh, it's so, so nice. And we started with a par, come on and. Well, I played the first two off the white simply because of the kind of backdrops. I don't think I'll be uh, attempting this all the way around. It's a 450 yard par four, um, and it makes its way. As Donald told us, a little bit more from, uh, from right to left, this one. I'm doing all right. A couple of drives away. It's a good start. I'm playing golf here today. My round had started unusually well. The greens were the best I'd played for some time and the putter was fine in cups. Level par through the opening five. The camera woman just asked me what are my thoughts on this course and uh, my answer was that this is my cup of tea and it certainly is. Honestly, I find it absolutely stunning out here and I'm told, or as we were told by Donald, that 
the stretch, I think it's through from 12 to 16, if I'm right, when we haven't even seen the sort of coastline yet, is, uh, is the place where this place really comes uh, to life. But really good design, the rolling fairways, uh, again, not much of a chance of a, an even lie. And again, I've just hit, I've just been bragging about how good my score is. I've pulled a seven iron into this uh, six. And then you look at like the shot that you're left with, pot bunker, there's a camber in off the right, then back off the left, and you've virtually left yourself with, I've got no shot whatsoever, uh, other than trying to create something. Uh, and that's again, the bit that I love of Lynx Golf. So I will try and create something. And I say try, and these are the ones where, like I said, and if I fail, I don't care, because I just like that it asks a question of your game that you don't get asked on every course that you play. Anyway, shut up, and. Ah. ah, just a bit too much on it. I tried to create something, to be honest with you, I'll take it from there a little bit softer and uh, try to feed it through the two different cameras, but there you go. No, I'm not that good. I'm average. Right, to see if we can stop the first bogey of the day. This is uh, the first time I've been in any sort of trouble, to be honest. Greens are so pure, the roll on them. That's a bogey. Um, one week shot and duly punished. Right on the flag, you know. Go. Oh my word. And. I can't, this is the best golf I've played since lockdown, I can tell you that much. Well, 12th is uh, arguably the signature hole and uh, you can certainly see why. It's a really good design as well though. It's visually really good because the, we're not at the green yet, but it very much sits on the waterfront. But in terms of the design, I love it. You've got two pot bunkers that you'll see uh, on the, the right of what is a slight dog leg from left to right. And the pin is um, sitting on the horizon. Hopefully you're picking it up on that camera there. I'll try and circle that out for you. But also there's a lot of rubbish to the right hand side. So it's that clever thing where again, where you want to take the shortest line, which is over those two bunkers, can't leak anything right. And then you get a little bit too cautious and you do what I did. And I've gone left, just over that left bunker and we'll leave the uh, the longer shot into the green, but it's, uh, like I said, really good design doll, but visually, again, absolutely stunning. We're uh, obviously, we're now 12 or 12 holes in, and uh, I cannot fault a single hole on this course so far. It's been pretty much perfect, every hole that we've played, and I suppose coupled with this weather. You can see the major difference would be, obviously, that the wind is a major defense here. Uh, the breeze has picked up a little bit in the last four holes, but it's just there's nothing of it to be honest with you. So uh, yeah, totally different golf course than what I'm necessarily playing today. Um, but yeah, perfect is the only way I could describe this one, I think. Well, we, I said, can you see the green on the horizon? We'd not played this hole before, and I said this was their signature hole and blah, blah, blah. But seriously, the camera had to go back on because when you walk close, you get 50 yards out and you see this, I mean, what the heck? I mean, I could literally, I nearly swore then because it's a proper golf hole. Like my ball, by the way, it's at four iron in that long shot. I said left is just sitting in the rough over there. We'll play that shortly. But um, yeah, you don't need me to say a great deal, do you? That's incredible. The views, the sky is so clear today. Um, we can't see over the backdrop. Cumbria over that side. Uh, we were at Port Patrick, which is on the tip, um, or we're at Port Patrick rather, on the tip tomorrow. Um, absolutely stunning golf hole. Clearly inspired by my surroundings, the short game started to duly oblige.
In many ways, the layout at Southern S is simplistic in its design. You see what's in front of you. There are no surprises. It's what I call classic links. Beautifully shaped, fast and firm fairways with well-placed bunkers that lead to immaculate greens. Couple that with breathtaking views, and I'm not sure what more you could ask from a golf course. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't record this shot in. I've just hit four iron, ran right past the flag. This is the best chance I've had for birdie for a for a while. Come on. He's got it, he's got it, go! I am a little bit excited because uh, I've not played this well on a golf course, uh, well, for, for a while, to be honest with you. I don't know whether I'm uh, inspired by the course itself. I came in with the attitude of wanting to play 18 holes and uh, sort of test myself on what I think is, uh, is without doubt a true test of golf, a championship course. Uh, I've not always played off the whites. It's been a bit of a mix of whites and yellows, but uh, would you believe that's me sort of at uh, one over par. It's, uh, it's my best ball striking day. Um, I've avoided bunkers. I've been a little bit lucky in places and I've made up and down maybe three or four times. So them kind of rounds don't come along too often. And not on a place like this. I said about being a little bit lucky and I've had the bounce, there's no doubt about it, but how I've just avoided these three pot bunkers, this par three played one, nine, five. I went with five, would know, and it would possibly uh, be a little bit long. It felt a bit of breeze on the uh, on the tee, the flag says otherwise, but how I've avoided these three, I have no idea, because it came in literally over that mountain there. Tricky little up and down still uh, to keep this run going, but well, I'll be grateful that I'm on the, uh, I'm on the short stuff. Get up, get up. Ah. Didn't need a lot more. I'll have to just nip back and get me putter. Ah. Might as well keep it running. I think this two ball is actually just starting to uh, come through which is good oh he's done it again I cannot believe how many of them I have old, and uh, whew, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm teeing up on the last, and uh, this is obviously all about Scotland's less obvious, but right now I'm afraid it's just about my score, because there's a possibility that I will shoot the lowest score ever. Um, not in a competition, but anyway, I'm going to tee it up off the, off the whites for this last hole. Where are we looking? 495 par 5. Come on, get the drive away hand. I'm a bit nervous. Uh, 
Nah, it's okay. It's hugging the right a little bit. It might help me a little bit. It was braver. Uh, or No, braver is the wrong word. It was bolder. That's the wrong word. I got away with murder. That's the way to put it. Yeah, a bit tentative, that one. Turn a bit more. Turn a bit more. That's good. Well, I got to the green in rag. I'd love to make this port. Go, go, go. Yes. Oh, what I can't believe. <laughs> it's just been an incredible round of golf. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, you had to hear me those last few holes because uh, I switched off from um, reviewing the golf course and concentrated solely on myself, I'm afraid. But uh, I hope in doing all of that, we still managed to capture this golf course in all its glory. Uh, I can now say that is, uh, and I don't think my camera woman wife knows this, that's the best score I've ever had on a golf course. I'm amazed. Um, so I think it's par 69 if I remember what uh, was said, and uh, again I'll go over the scorecard, but I'm pretty sure I just shot 70, which was one over, and uh, like I said, I've never done that in my life, and to do it on this golf course, I spoke to uh, Dave, I don't know his surname, the, the course manager here, on about the 14th, uh, and I congratulated him on what is an absolute pristine golf course. Um, as I said to him and to you earlier on, I described this course as perfect. And I would, like I said, it's a very hard one to critique in any way in terms of a criticism. Everything about it was very, very good. I call it, like I said, a pure, pure quality links championship venue, all those things. And putting aside, like I said, my own good day, because that always makes things uh, a little bit nicer. It's been an amazing start to uh, our Scotland's less obvious tour and uh, Southern S water golf course. And all I can say is I always done it justice in terms of filming it. And if you get the opportunity, then uh, make sure you get down here. We've had, I've had it easy. Don't get me wrong. We've had no breeze or very little whatsoever. Um, but get yourselves down here. Uh, the greens are unreal. Again, going back to Dave, the, the, the course manager, sort of said how good they are right now. With 30 odd years he's been here, and he says they're rolling pure, and they were right up until that very last putt. I'm off. <laughs>